Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS, fix lags and stutter and all kind of other issues in Valorant Year 25 Act 5 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to personalization and then you wanna have to search for colors. Click on that and you'll have to disable transparency effects over here. Once that is done, come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since game bar is an overlay service and using this service will reduce your performance in the games. Disabling that will help you and then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and apps off in the back background helping you to get extra fps click on the graphic settings underneath and then you want to enable optimizations for windowed games to reduce input latency and click on advanced graphics and select hardware accelerated gp scheduling this option will help you to utilize your graphic card natively for rendering the game instead of your software based graphics then you want to have to click on the add desktop app button over here and go to download location of valorant Simply head over to the shooter game, binaries, win64 and then select the valorant win64shipping.exe and then click on the add button. Then scroll a bit down to find your game. It should be all the way down. Select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here and this will help you to disable all kind of unnecessary power saving features while playing the game. Once that is done, simply close it. Now before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to home.gg which is an amazing FPS optimizing tool which is available for free. You can simply download home from the link in the description below. This tool has built up performance optimization settings which are recommended by the pros. Once you're on the home screen what you guys are looking for is the optimizations tab. Under this general tab you want to have to enable all of these settings which I have enabled. You can pause and enable these settings to optimize the performance of Valorant and if that is not enough you guys can head over to the games page and then you can select Valorant in this list. Click on Valorant and then click on best performance button over here. You can also select the pro which you are looking for and apply their settings on your PC with just one click. Simply select the performance button and then click on activate optimization and this will automatically apply all of the best settings onto your PC which will help you to boost your performance and improve your FPS dramatically. Once again, go download home.gg for absolutely free from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling core isolation on your PC and for that simply search for core isolation and click on this button. Right over here, you'll find something called memory integrity. You wanna have to turn this thing off. This is because memory integrity utilizes up to 5 and 10% of your CPU resources and disabling that will help you to save these resources and allocate that while you're playing the game since Valorant is already a CPU intensive game. Next step is uh, compatibility settings and for that simply search for Valorant over here and click on open file location. Right click on it once again and then click on open file location. This will take you to the Riot Games folder. What you have to do is head back to the Riot Games, head over to Valorant, Live, Shooter, Game, Binaries, Win64 and then you wanna have to scroll down to find the Valorant Win64Shipping.exe. Right click on this file, head over to its properties and then you wanna have to click on compatibility. Select disable full screen optimization and then click on change high dpi settings. Override high dpi scaling behavior should be turned on. Click on ok and then click on ok once again and this will help you to reduce unwanted input latency. Next step is disabling sysmain and this is a very important step. Simply search for services on your PC and press enter. Then you wanna have to select any service and press S on your keyboard to locate the services starting with S. Over here you wanna have to search for something called sysmain. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then you wanna have to set the startup type to disable. If the service is already running, you're gonna have to stop this service, click on apply and then OK. Sysmain consumes up to 15% of your CPU resources and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your processor and reduce the number of processes running in the background. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here, come down and select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Valorant just so you can remember it and press enter. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to 
restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, close this. Next step is the Valorant Year 25 Act 5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in 7 folders which are really essential folders to be honest. First one is the CPU priority in which I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority and if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. These priorities will set up the correct default values for your processor to optimize their performance. Second is RAM optimization which does the same thing for your RAM. I have left a lot of presets over here according to your PC you need to choose which RAM that you use. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to double click and apply this registry. I have already done that. You can select the RAM from the list and if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default. Third folder over here is Valorant Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. Once again, I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth folder is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless and you probably might not be using them. If you're using any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two and disable every single one of them over here to ensure that these services are not running on your PC and it will save a ton of your resources. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Fifth folder over here is the power plan settings which helps you to import the best performance power plan on your PC. For that, right click on import ultimate performance power plan and click on run as administrator. This will add a new power plan into your list. To access that, double click on power plans and then you're gonna have to click on show additional plans and select ultimate performance which should be available in this list. I've already done that. This power plan will help you to reduce all kind of power saving features on your PC which will help you to fix all kind of unwanted stutters, jitters, input latency as well as packet loss. Sixth folder over here is input delay improvement in which I have left keyboard latency fix in which I have left all of these keyboard buffers. Once again I would request you guys to leave your keyboard specs or your keyboard model name down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose over here. Next is mouse latency registries which has the fixed mouse curve. This is a setting inspired by the pro and it will help you to smoothen out the mouse curves to make it more lifelike. This will enhance your pointer precision and reduce unwanted mouse drags. Simply double click to apply them and go back, head over to the last folder which is the programs in which I have left clean temporary files, MSI mode, utility 3.0 and quick CPU. First right click and run this as administrator. Once this opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all kind of unwanted temporary files off of your PC which is actually very good in the long run. I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then when you open up your game. Second is MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click and run it as administrator. Now even though Valorant is a CPU intensive game, it still utilizes a bit of your GPU and we need to keep it fast and simple. And to do that, you have to find your graphic card in this list, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on the apply button and this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts on a higher priority without overclocking it to optimize its performance. Next is quick CPU and this is a setup file. You have to double click and install quick CPU on your PC and open this thing up. Once quick CPU opens up, what you guys are looking for over here is the core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance indexes over here. You want to slide all of them to 100% and click on the apply button. You need to make sure that all of these settings are exactly same over here and you don't want to do anything over here on top. Once that is done, simply close it and now you guys will be running your CPU on the maximum throttle without any core parking in the background. This will save a lot of your core performance and optimize your PC's performance when you're playing the game. Once all of that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy over here and press enter. This tab will only be available for Windows Pro users. So once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is enabled. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will deny all of the applications running in the background and saving your system's resources. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and latency issues using no ping. I have left a discord join link right in the description below where you guys can join this discord server which is trial no ping in which I have left get 3 days of no ping for absolutely free. 
once you're over here click on the start free trial button and then you guys can head over to this tutorial and see how you guys can get no ping for absolutely free once you have downloaded no ping from the discord server you guys will have to look for valorant in this list no ping offers you more than 1000 games to choose from simply click on this game and over here you have to find the server with the lowest amount of ping in most cases you will get the server with the lowest ping right on top under the recommended section simply click on optimize the game and this will one click optimize the network connection right from your pc to the game servers without any hindrance and it will help you to get the lowest ping no packet loss and no jitter make sure to go join the trial no ping server right from the description below and avail no ping for absolutely free without any credit cards and let's move ahead next step is ms config and for that simply search for system configuration on your pc and open this thing up system configuration and you'll see it like this open it up and over here head over to the boot section click on advanced option and then select number of processor choose the maximum number of processor over here in this list and click on no gui boot click on the apply button then head over to the services tab select hide all microsoft service and then disable as many services as you can and only disable the ones that you're aware of do not disable any anti-cheat service over here because that might be causing issues with launching your games and for that you have to make sure to see these manufacturer you can safely disable all kind of fan control service browser update service rgb service over here and the services which are unknown these services are constantly running in the background and they are reducing your system's performance to disable them simply uncheck it and click on the apply button close it and now you have to restart your pc once and then drop into the best in game settings okay once you're in your game head over to the settings gear and click on settings then you're gonna have to come down under the general settings scroll all the way down until you find network buffering you're gonna have to select minimum over here and then you also have to find something called raw input buffer simply turn this thing to on then head over to the video settings and then under the display mode select full screen or you guys can go with windowed full screen both of them works absolutely fine and if you have nvidia reflex low latency go with on plus boost over here then click on the graphics quality and then multi-threaded rendering should be turned on this setting utilizes some of your cores all together to render the game which will reduce single core load and it will divide them on multiple cores and multiple threads to optimize the performance. This setting itself will give you more than 50% FPS boost. And then for the material, texture and detail quality, go all of them to low. Vignette should be turned off. V-Sync should be turned off. Anti-aliasing, go with none. Anisotropic filtering, I have gone with 8x, but 2x and 4x will give you significant FPS boost. So you guys can use according to your PC. Then for the improved clarity, experimental sharpening, bloom distortion and cast shadows all of them should be turned off and once that is done simply click on the close settings button and now you guys can enjoy valorant with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave like and smash the subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and i really trust you guys i am really dependent on your support and i promise to give more and more useful videos like this in the future We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace.